Now I am sharing this uh, all analysis list again. You copy this and paste it or save it for reference or as a question paper. So here is your group. Now I shared a list of content with hashtag. Uh, when you paste these hashtag in R, it will show headings. Okay, no. So your first task is, so please all participants let me know, are you ready? Have you opened R Studio and uh, have done ficus file or import Imported ficus file. Have import ficus file. Please open R Studio and import ficus file. After type done. Okay, I'm waiting. You just have five minutes. Ready your laptop for test. Open R Studio and import Ficus file. And when you ready, perform two steps. One is R Open R Studio. Second is import Ficus file. Type done. Okay, the first question is find relative abundance analysis of ficus data set. Now you have a data set named ficus. You need to find relative abundance analysis of ficus data set. The first step. Import ficus file. Take its str, copy str, and paste it in chat GPT and give instructions that code and run on R. So it is uh, suggestions or step or tricks you can use to fulfill, to fulfill your requirement or to complete your task. So you know you have uh, five minutes to complete your task. Your task is relative abundance analysis of ficus data set. You need to find the relative abundance of species. Find of species. Your time is started, please. You know you have five minutes. After five minutes, I will move to next task. Relative abundance means how many times these species occur. For example, if uh, we have these S1, S1, it indicates that how many time and its occur and its value also uh, represent uh, in abundance. So the first step, take str, copy and paste it within chat GPT and give instruction and uh, then get code.
give instruction mean you need to give instruction or find relative abundance i want to find relative abundance of species in this given data set so chat gpt understand your question and then after uh, compilations or interpretation it it will give you the code script or any other suggestions okay please start and uh, done this task find relative abundance of species in ficus data set If you have any more questions, you can ask. I am just waiting for your reply. Uh, don't use iris data set you have already data set named ficus please take str of your data set and provide this str to chat gpt Dr. Rahim, use ficus data set, not iris data set. You are using here iris data set. But in your global environment, you have ficus data set. So you don't so you need to work on ficus data set, not iris data set. Uh, Dr. Speed, you have done. Uh, these are the results in the form of table. No, please draw, also draw its uh, plot or graph. These are the results of relative abundance in the form of table. No, you need to draw its plot. Uh, Dr. Spirio, please also draw its plot.
डॉक्टर इफ्तार अहमद राना काइंडली आई गिव दिस टास्क प्लीज कंप्लीट इट यू नीड टू फाइंड रिलेटिव अबंडेंस एनालिसिस ऑफ फाइकस डाटा सेट फाइंड रिलेटिव अबंडेंस ऑफ स्पीशीज सो यू सिमिलर ट्रिक ओके and also draw its plot so all participant complete your task the first task is find relative abundance of species in ficus data set ओके मिस्टर रहीम कैन यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन आई अलो इफ आई अलो यू कैन यू शेयर योर स्क्रीन प्लीज ओपन आर and uh, paste here script assuming your data frame is named as relative abundance run it before running this code you need to uh, relative abundance but in your previous case uh, line number 2 3 4 5 uh, you And not find any relative abundance of species. So please open Chat GPT. I think you have missed one script or code, and scroll down step by step. Yes, uh, open. So please move down. you uh, yes yes uh, this one code uh, upper yes i think you have uh, ignored this code copy it open r paste it. no run this code here is a iris data set but you need to work on ficus data set okay just replace here uh, iris with iris with species iris data with species sorry ficus type here ficus delete iris data and type here ficus and uh, run it Uh, it's showing something in Chinese. No, you uh, need to run a code. Found relative, not found relative abundance. Okay, uh, please come on. Uh, Chat GPT. Come on, Chat GPT. Type here. I want to change the language in R. Change the R in in R from Chinese to English, especially in console.
Spanish to English. Chinese to English. Especially in console. Please give script for language change. No send message. Okay, copy. Open R, paste here, and run this code. Line number 23. Line number 23. No. Again, run. Line number uh, 26. Please run line number 26. Okay. It's showing uh, no is in all words are in English. So please uh, clear all this uh, script, screen number one. Select all and delete. Okay. First take str. Ficus. Copy this str. From str. str ficus. Uh, please also include uh, str ficus. Last line. Sorry, first line. After error, str ficus. This line also include. Yes. Copy and open chat GPT, open new chat, open new chat, close it and open new chat. Please open new chat. Here is the option for new chat. No, no, add the top, yes. At right, I want to find the relative abundance of species. In above given data set. and want to create its plot and want to create a relative abundance plot. It's plot, okay. Go you get relative abundance. So. Okay. Plot. Now, copy the script. and paste here. No. First read, assume ficus is your data frame. Count the occurrence of each species. Okay, please run line number four. It's working, okay. Line number six. Please run line number six. Okay, please next line. Next line. Anywhere you can click. Yeah, you need to run again. Line number uh, nine. Please click at start of line number nine or ten. Click at nine or ten. 
no it's not showing cursor now please click on line num within line number 10 okay no run library and line number 15 It's showing that object relative abundance not found. Uh, your line number seven is not working. So I run it again. Okay, again run all lines. Just click on run button. Cursor automatically move to next step. Again run, yes. Okay, it's showing that uh, aesthetic occur, relative abundance, df. Yes, here is a spelling mistake. Uh, you need to copy uh, from relative abundance from line number seven. If you compare, you can check. Uh, please first check line number seven. Here is a relative underscore abundance. While in come on line number 15, please come on line number 15 after species x axis and y axis. Relative abundance here, here is the spelling mis mismatch. So you need to copy line number 7 relative abundance, copy it and paste it here. No, again run this code. No, it's showing its plot, relative abundance plot. Now, if you want to show, uh, want to see its table, you need to select line number seven. Click on line number seven, just select relative abundance just select relative abundance and press run button please select relative abundance and run Okay, here is the table of relative abundance. Okay, uh, please, uh, you have done this step. Now you need to perform next task. Hope all participants have uh, done this step. Uh, please close your screen. Please close your screen. Okay. Now our next task is descriptive statistic. Please, uh, I perform this step. First step, take STR of your data set, FICUS. All participants, please. Uh, Watch carefully. Copy from, copy it from str ficus, not from table. So it also, uh, the name of file is here, ficus, str ficus. Copy, open chat GPT. Paste within chat GPT. 
and write a line. I want to calculate. I want to find descriptive statistics. I need descriptive statistics of above given data set on above given data set. Please write our script. It give me a lengthy code, but if you type just summary, it will give you a it's a descriptive statistic. For example, I type here summary. Summary and type ficus within summary and run it. It will give you a descriptive statistics. It's showing that mean value, minimum, max. Uh, maximum first quartile second quartile median mod and many more so this is the descriptive statistic but in uh, the case of uh, chat gpt it give me a very lengthy code but uh, we need to try it copy and paste it within chat so d player D player data frame summary. So it gives me the same summary as I created just by using summary function. Now here is extra things uh, mean petal width, median petal width, standard deviation, and other things. Now table. It give me in the form of table S1, S2, and S3, mm, 51, 42, its mean value. So uh, all three species, for all three species. So this is the descriptive statistics. Now our next task is regression analysis. Okay, now we need just say it's thanks. Thanks. No, I want to perform regression analysis. Here you can specify a specific model or specific uh, uh, instructions, but I give it general instruction and uh, he will follow the um, default way. So thanks, no, I want to perform regression analysis. Please write or script. Uh, by default, uh, chat GPT using linear regression model. There is a linear regression model could be good for start for the kind of analysis. So uh, it guess the because I already I have given its uh, str so he understand the linear regression model is good for this type of data analysis this type of data set so copy I think it is not complete working okay no it is completed copy script copy and paste it here no we need this package 
LM test and ggplot2. Let's check linear model test is present or not. It's showing that there is no package called LM test. So I need to install, copy packages, click on install button, install and press install button. No, it is successfully installed. Mm, press library and run library. LM test, ggplot2, linear model. It's working. Summary of model. Here is the result of a regression models in the form of table. So it's plot. Here is a regression model plot. Library card, verify model. And it shows the prediction fit lower and upper value. So uh, this will give us a uh, four different type of values. That is residual values, scale location, residual was leverage and QR. Yeah, uh, resource res resources. Okay, I hope uh, you have no. You will be done this step. So, uh, no, please uh, continue your task. No, you apply regression models on this. But maybe in your case, you get different script, different type of. Uh, analysis different results because I just give it general instruction and uh, chat GPT give me the by default analysis. But when I specify each and everything, it will give me all things according to my requirement. But when you don't specify anything, chat GPT give you uh, uh, by default uh, script so no, please all participant uh, run regression and t-test on ficus files. Please apply regression, t-test, and ANOVA. All participant, please apply regression, t-test, and ANOVA. On ficus file. Now please all participants 
perform these three tests a regression model t test and anova
Uh, very sorry, actually, mic was at mute. Okay, no, I, I repeat again. <clears throat> I think no, you are hearing me. No, if you want to uh, perform a specific test, before performing any specific test, you need to first read about this uh, test, specific test before performing on R by using chat GPT. For example, if you want to perform t-test, you first you need to type of t-test, method of t-test, and uh, if any model applied here, you need to read. So in this case, we have uh, three type of t-test, one sample t-test, two sample t-test, paired sample t-test. So which you want to apply. Similarly, when you want to perform regression analysis, first you need to read about regression analysis. Regression analysis in R, you need to read. There is a cheat sheet of R. Now you can find different type of information about linear model assumption, linear model assumption outlier, creating a linear regression model in R. So here is a step-by-step -step guide and uh, each and everything you can find here. But for any uh, performing any task on chat gpt first you need to uh, read uh, something about your specific analysis so uh, you will get accurate results but when you uh, run without any specification it will give you a uh, results by default uh, it may be according to your demand or it may not be according to your demand no hope you have cleared this. Okay. No, please all participants perform uh, these all uh, analysis which I send you in group. So in our next class, and uh, then we move to uh, another uh, type of uh, analysis. Like uh, for example, if you want to arrange your data set, then how you you will find our data format for your specific analysis. For example, if you want to perform a, a principal component analysis, how to arrange you, your data set. If you want to perform a, a linear regression, how to arrange your data set. So in our next class, we will discuss about how we arrange our data set for a specific analysis. Okay, thank you. Allah Hafiz.